this one's about two years old, three years old. It's one of my holdbacks in the bigger pond. And these two have been in the pond since 2015, I think. I'll come back to these when they get out and moving, but this is a a sleeper pond. By that I mean it's got the sides made out of sleepers. And you can see there's two sleepers high and they're on a a concrete um, base. Underneath the base is uh, chicken wire which is cemented over a thin layer of scrim just to stop the rats and creatures digging up from underneath. Uh, no filter. It's about I don't know, 2.4 meters, not even that. 2 meters, 1.8 meters wide and it's that long, which is probably 8, 9, 10, 12 feet. Um, land at the end for digging. I should put little baby box turtles in there, is there box turtles in there? Because um, they like to get in the water a lot of the time. This is a, a male. And this is this is how they operate on the top in the shallows looking for food they they eat a whole lot more green stuff um, than people give credit for and they take the duckweed they take the green stuff the lodia um, there's some monkey flower, mimulus. He's hunting. Now, that's the one that's been in here since uh, 2015, so he's uh, five years old now. Or she is, rather. And there's the other one still timid. I oh, she'll come out. And you can see the, the the two or three year old is quite a bit smaller. There's a one year old in here as well somewhere. And it might come out. That's a bit more timid. You have to give give them time. And they will they will come out when they're ready and confident. And these these five-year-olds are now that. I rarely pick them up. They don't need picking up. Perhaps once or twice a year just to check them over, to weigh them and to photograph them. But that's about it. That's all they need. They are good swimmers, but they prefer to be in the shallows like this. It's where all the food is, where all the warmth is. Um, and their small size means they can scurry under leaves and get to safety quickly. Now these are in the southwest of England. Um, they're out here all year. Uh, quite hardy very hardy um, and they've got slopes to get out to bask if they want like this one's about to do maybe that slope is south facing it's quiet so they can sit sit and bask for hours and hours and know they're safe with the ability to dive in whenever they want and this little one that's last year's
and that's all I've got in this pond just those five no filter but I don't overfeed them there's plenty of natural food in there um, the joy is just to sit and watch them really So there you got it, one year old, and maybe two or three years old. Let me just um, look, it's just taking a bite out of the lily there. In fact, the lilies have got all oh, got bites in, like there for instance. And their bites, they're one of the first foods that they have in the spring when they come out of hibernation, is the, uh, the young green shoots. Um, and I get, there's another bite there, you see that? That was when the lily was just coming out and the turtles just take a bite out of it. Lots of protein in there. These are more surface mounted ponds, again built with uh, railway sleepers. These are 4.8 meter, uh, oh, 3.6 meter ones they are, which are split to 1.2 times 2. So the, the, um, the length is 2.4 meters, 1.2 meters wide. Uh, I got them job lot cheap. Again, stand up. Stand them on the edge. I've edged, edged them with a fascia board to stop stuff climbing up and also give them some protection and to, to grip the liner. That's how deep they are. There's a slope at the end there so they can climb out onto the soil section and maybe do some egg laying. These are my red phase turtles. Spotted turtles, um, all four in here are quite red, and these two are out in the sun all the time. And uh, it could be that they've got eggs and they're just um, helping the eggs ripen in the sun. Again, lots of weed, no, no filter. Uh, I feed them once every day, or when it's sunny, not when it's not sunny. That's the food, it's homemade. Um, and they live here all year. Right? These have been here two years now. Um, this other pond, same build, cover there, um, and that's because I've got uh, last year's babies in here. Um, there'll be one somewhere if I can find it. I've just put some food in and uh, exploring that. There's the three females there. That one not bothered about food. She's in full blooded bask. Yeah, very nice animals. It'd be very interesting to breed these. This is uh, another small pond. Again built with uh, railway sleepers. Or bits of wood about that same size. And what I've got is... Uh, this one's two turtles. Two sleepers high. So it's a bit deeper. And I've got a pump in the bottom one. Pumps into the filter. And goes all the way around. I thought I'd try it, and, and it does work. Although well, I suspect with the amount of turtles I have, I don't need a filter. And in here I've got my painted turtles. There's a male. These are the Midland painted turtles. You can see because the scoots aren't aligned on the surface. And the two females that produce all the lovely youngsters that I have. 
they are just the loveliest of turtles very very tame and also in there there'll be somewhere in this weather two basking musk turtles and they they don't often bask on the ramp although they have done they usually bask with their shells sticking out of the water very very secretive looks like a stone when you see it first but actually it's the shell getting warmed up this is another surface pond i have again built with um, planks of wood down the side it's probably about 10 inches deep no more than that full of greenery and this has got my four-year-old paintings in it one two three and then there's a some more in there again not many turtles in the pond no filter plenty of greenery um, and they do very well you can see that they've grown beautifully and these are the offsprings from the adults you've just seen these are actually tails turtles I'm looking them after after them for a while while he gets his pond together and they can climb out of there and come into this as and when they like there are plenty of walking around <laughs>